So in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show an easy way to sort the data from Penwell tables to do the sigma convergence type of analysis we discussed in class. So once you're in Penwell tables, you select your variables that you want. In this case, we're going to go with GDP and number of persons engaged. We're going to select regions, and I'm just going to pick a couple of countries to work with this example. Now, this trick that we're showing here will only work if you make sure that all the countries have all the data uh, for each year. If we go to periods, I'm going to select all the periods as I'm looking at the sigma analysis, and I'm just going to click results. So here, what we can see is I've got data from 1950 for all my countries. There's no missing data there. And it goes up to 2017. And then the next set of data starts from 1950 for the number of persons engaged and goes up to 2017. Now, what we've done to date is we've exported to CSV or Excel. And that has basically been how we've got our data. And we've had to sort and format it. A quick kind of cheats way of accessing the data easily is in a sorted format is highlight it. So just click and highlight all the data. Copy it by pressing Control and C or Command and C. Going to Excel and pasting it into Excel. Now it doesn't paste in perfectly, so we have to be a little bit careful here. So for instance, we've got a different alignment between the year and between our data. So I'm just going to tidy that up. But here now what we have is 1950 for all our countries up as far as 2017. And then it starts again here. So what I can do is take this data, which is the number of people employed, and I can copy it down underneath. So I'm going to copy the country names down. And what I have basically got now, more or less sorted and ready to go, is expenditure side real GDP and number of persons engaged. Now, if we remember what we want for the sigma convergence, is we need the standard deviation, the average, and then the standard deviation divided by the average. So the standard deviation is going to be of the expenditure side divided by the number of persons engaged. So we want this of productivity. So we're going to create another new column. Where I'm going to have my productivity, which is going to be our expenditure side GDP divided by our number of persons engaged. I'm going to drag that formula across, and I'm going to send that formula down as well. So I now have all my productivity figures, and I want to get the standard deviation of them using the formula we discussed. I want to get the average, again, using the formula we've discussed. And I want to get the standard deviation divided by the average. And again, I can drag those formulas across. And I've now got my sigma convergence measure. I can generate a line plot of that by insert. And selecting a line plot. And selecting the data and plotting it. So there's a separate video on how to do that already on Canvas. So that shows you how to quickly use the Penwell tables to sort your data.